isn't it important for your biology to be properly labeled if nothing else for medical purposes not at all no if you identify as a woman we put you down as a woman in our charts no if you want, want to be a woman i identify you as a woman not unless you're in there for something that has to do with your genitals no a human body is a human body your height and your weight dictate what kind of oxygen i pump into you and what kind of meds we give you not your sex no i know it's kind of weird when you think about it your, your sex really doesn't matter a human is a human is a human is a human unless i'm doing something with your balls and wee wee like obviously when i put a catheter in i'm going to figure out what kind of genitals you have but it doesn't affect like i'm just going to go get a different catheter like if you still have a penis but identify as a woman i'm just going to put a different catheter in you it doesn't matter it still makes you a woman just different genitals you know what I mean? Like it's... We need to put their biological sex on the chart and then their preference followed. Really? Oh, we put just their preference. Maybe because you deal with more meds, Alchemy. And I deal with like, you know, oxygen volumes and whatever, possibly. And like shit that goes into your lungs isn't really affected by your sex at all. So it's possible. Probably pharmaceutical stuff. I would assume you would need to know more about sex and stuff just for dosing, maybe. Hey, 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 Thank you for the eight months, motherfucker. Only if you're specifically managing something like a pregnancy, Papa. Your genitals do not determine determine who you are as a person. Word. Word. But I can understand how like hormones and shit can be affected. Like if you if you still have. Or I can see how like, I mean, but it do I don't know. I don't know. It's a fun conversation to have. I was going to say a lot of it comes down to how the body reacts to medication, hormones, etc. Yep. That's I was literally just going to say it's probably hormones and shit. You're right. And a lot of people that are transitioning or a lot of trans people take hormones. And so we need to know those hormones, not necessarily your sex, but more of those hormones you're taking, which would lead us to believe what's going on. But the hormones you're taking so we don't like counteract them with a drug or fucking kill you on accident with another drug or something like that like any medicine you're taking has to be reported should be reported please don't ever lie about your medications oh my god the amount of times i've had like druggies in the er that are like i'm not in anything man i don't do anything i'm like cool because if you are what i'm gonna give you right now will kill you and then they go okay man maybe i'm on a few things maybe i'm on a few things i'm like mm -hmm, i'm sure don't lie we're not there's no shame in it just fucking tell me what you're on so i don't kill you That's awesome, Alchemy. The nurses always do the checking in. So I just follow what their chart says usually, but... You, most trans people will announce to me and tell me. But I usually just look at their chart and if their name's Tammy, I just call them Tammy. I don't know, or whatever they want their name to be. I don't care. I'm there to make you better. Your genitals don't matter to me unless I'm going to have sex with you. <laughs> Suck it, third! Even then, it's whatever, right? Like, I don't know. I don't see why your gender really matters unless it has to do with medications in most things in life. Please don't kill me for this opinion, but I, in my head, you never get killed for an opinion here. Nobody will ever get killed for an opinion here, ever. Please don't ever think anyone will get ridiculed here, Hex. Oh my gosh, never. But in my head, I think so much of the bullshit surrounding this topic is due to labels. People are too hung up on labels. So this is, I've heard that argument a million times and this is what, this is where I put myself when people say that argument. So, they are obsessed with the label because their entire life they've been denied what they knew in their soul they were. So Hex, you know you're a boy. You're very aware you're a boy. You feel like you're a boy. You fuck ladies. You are a man. But imagine from day one, everybody told you you were insane because you thought that. And really, you're a woman. Your name is Tammy. Your whole life, everyone around you was like, we're going to send you to fucking counseling and put you on medication if you keep telling me that your name is Hex and you're a boy. You are a woman and your name is Tammy. And then all of a sudden when they're like 30, this movement happens where you can actually claim what gender you wanna be. They're gonna claim that label like a fucking flame. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna be a fucking big deal because they've been crushed and fucking just 
beaten down over and over and over and made to feel crazy when really they weren't crazy in any way, shape or form. They just were living in a society that couldn't accept that you don't have to be what you choose, what you are born with. It's just anatomical parts. Oh, if, oh, the people against people transitioning. I see what you're saying. If the people against it would get off the labels. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, obviously. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, Mel. I try to put myself in that place because it is hard for me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cis, white, bisexual female. I have a little bit of an edge, but nothing, nothing that puts me in anywhere near being a transgendered human or anything like that. So I try to put myself in that place and I can't even fathom. I cannot fathom my family telling me I'm a boy and my name is Kurt for my whole life. When I in my soul know I'm a female named Katie. Like Hail I can't. Satan! Hail Hail Satan! Satan! Ezekiel underscore I, I and or mod. Thank you so much for the host. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. It's kind of weird, right? I'm too lazy to have a firm stance. Things are going to change as long as it's not compulsory. I just don't want people to attack each other for that shit. Yes, yes, Hex, I 100% agree. Like, just love your child, regardless of any of the shit they want to call themselves. Like, it doesn't matter. Just love your child. I agree, 100%, 100%, or your, the person. Not necessarily your child, but the person. Yes, absolutely. You do you, complex same. Love is love, you do you, live and let live. I agree, 100%. I don't understand people that get up in other people's business. My business. Stay the fuck you out my business. Bum bum. Bum bum. Uh, bum bum bum. Bum bum. Stay the fuck you out my business. Does he not get poisoned? Ouch. You're a douchebag. Owie, it hurts. Yeah, Dark Druid, that's all it is. It's kind of, I always, I, I compare it to having a diagnosis. Like just cause I have a diagnosis of bipolar doesn't mean I wasn't bipolar before or that I'm any more bipolar now. I was always bipolar. It's just someone gave me a label to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we are talking about that motherfucking, what are they called? Turf? Yes, we are. Because I still love Harry Potter. I believe we can still love the books and just, there is no author anymore. We don't have an author. They were ghost written. Ghost written novels. I love them. The new ones suck anyways. Let's be honest. Anything past Deathly Hollows has been trash. They were ghost written. She can keep the new shit. I don't even care. That stuff was terrible. Die. How did you decide you were bi and not straight, if you don't mind me asking? I feel like my heteronormative thinking sometimes impedes my attraction to dudes. Dude, rabbi, I'm so glad you asked. I actually told this story the other day in honor of um, bi, but why did I do that? In order of bi? In order, in, oh my God. My mouth's really dry. In honor of Pride Week. I kind of told the story. I can tell it again, hold on. They were found in a chest. It was like, uh, a, a, a cedar chest. Hydrate, try again. I know I spilled everywhere. Again, I fucking water my tits every day. So basically, when I was like five or six, I had a little girlfriend. I can't even remember her name at this point. And we used to play boyfriend, boyfriend girlfriend where we would like rub against each other in our panties in my in my closet. And my mom caught us, caught us, found us one time. We weren't hiding it or anything. We didn't know it was wrong. And my mom found me one time doing this. And instead of like approaching us, talking to us about it, let's talk about this kind of thing. She scared me like a dog. She went, what? And like screamed really loud and scared us so bad that we both like had a heart attack and like fell down and we're like, <gasps> and she literally like scared the gay out of me for like 20 years of my life. Um, I was, I never even had a female friend. Like I was horrified of female relationships in any way, shape or form because of that moment. Like I was so scared because no one explained to me that I can be both friends with females and love females. Like I always had this weird dichotomy in my brain of do I want to fuck that person, be that person or be friends with that person? I don't know. And no one would talk to me about it. And I had no one to explain these really complex thoughts in my head. So instead I was that girl who had all guy friends my entire life and everybody thought I was a big slut, but really I was just a big tomboy who didn't know how to function around women. So I just was friends with guys my entire life. And then when I got to college, there were all these gay women around me that were like, dude, that what? 
you're totally gay. And I was like, you're right, I am. Like, I love women. Like, I've always loved women. I'm just, like, horrified of them. And I blossomed into this big bisexual creature. I just love both. I think I, like, don't really think about the genitals. Like, I fall in love with the human, and then the genitals are, like, a second, a secondary object. Like, I'm like, all right, now let's deal with what's downstairs. That's what happened in a nutshell. I know, maybe she's on, what is that shit? It's a, uh, not Ativan, it's called uh, Ambien. Maybe she's on Ambien. He's sharing, of course. Good morning, Fister, how are you? Ooh, something just fell in my eye, back, my eye. I've never tried Ambien, but I know people like get married on it and stuff. Ambient, yeah. Ambient people like get married. I want to do the big boy. Ooh, my health's really low though. Uh, fuck it. Big risk, big, big reward. I feel like crying because I can relate so badly. I thankfully didn't undergo a scare like that, but my parents made sure I knew those things were not normal. I came out two years ago when I was 32 as bisexual. I, my parents didn't make it seem not okay. My mom just brainwashed me to think I wasn't it. Like everybody else was cool to be gay. My mom was never against gay people. Like lesbians, she has tons of lesbians friends, but I was not one. Like she would say that clearly, clearly when I was a little kid, she's like, clearly you love little boys. You're gonna get married and have babies one day. She would say this when I was a kid. So she basically like, like munchausened me to believe I was super straight until I got out of her claws. And then I was like, oh fuck, I'm not though. Toxic moth caterpillar nest. That's a sentence I never thought I'd read out loud. Greed is good, take the elites, right? I know, even though I'm terribly low on health right now. Um, they're gonna all attack me. What do I have up here? Blessing the forge. Gain 12 block, that'd probably be a good idea. Gambler's brew, discard any number of cards, then draw that many. Give me that block, bitch. I'm going to poison you because you have a distance thing. People's brains suck. Oh, Gregarious sister, absolutely, which super sucks because neither my sister nor I want any kids at all. So she's kind of fucked. <laughs> Oh man, silly. We've talked about it. Zeke asked me if I would be open to like a like a ceremony, you know, without the legal marriage part because I hate the legal marriage part. Cheers, by the way. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's a nice card. Ooh. Um... Poison, bitch. <laughs> Tell her now. She doesn't know. That's going to be a rough conversation. It is very sad, Jay. It's horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. It's kind of shitty cards. Shiza! He's gonna hit me. Oh no, Rake? The fuck? Oh god. 
Eu. Eu. Good morning, Noble Crow. How the fuck are you? Oh my god, Quirkin, that would be incredible. I would be so down for that. Yes. Papa Ponage, I know. People are people are fear what they don't understand, but they're too pussy to ask. Like you don't have to just sit and be ignorant to things. Most people are very willing to tell you about what's going on and what they're doing. Every trans person I've ever known has been very open and very like I'm always curious. I'm like, will you tell me about what's going on? They're like, yeah, they're always stoked. No one's ever bummed. Fuge. My block is not great right now. Oh man, I I feel that. I did. Ooh. Oh god, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so scary. Pister, <laughs> that's dope. Uh, all they do is attack. Oh my god, I have so many blocks though. Thank the Lord. Not enough block. I think I'm going to die. Uh... <laughs> Shit. I think I'm going to die. Oh, God. I'm, it's death. I'm happy. It's happening. Oh, I didn't die. Oh, my God. It's a miracle. How did I not die? Holy shit. Jim Mockaway, what in the fucking cock? <gasps> Holy God. Um, 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 ah! oh my God. Weakened. Oh my god. This I'm going to die. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Oh my god, how did I get? Oh my god, I'm still going to die. Fuck. I'm gonna die, it's gonna happen. Fuck! Okay. Man! I did my best, y'all. What? Man! Welcome to my channel, welcome to my stream, thank you so much for the follow! What is happening and how am I not dying? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? And I still don't have any fucking block! Oh my god. How am I still going? This is incredible. Fuck. Oh my god, I think I might actually win. Oh my god. <gasps> what? How am I alive? <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, I'm mad. <laughs> what is that? Did it open? presents as a female so i'm gonna guess she wants to be a female but damn that yell is in intimidating as fuck 
Stabon! I can't even get that low. Stabon! Stabon! <laughs> Stabon! Where is he? I don't know. I don't know where he Stabon! Stabon! Where is Stabon? Stabon! 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 <laughs> I'd run too. Stabon is running. She's possessed. She has the devil. <laughs> She has the devil within her body. <laughs> Stefan should fucking run. That's Satan inside her. Hail Satan. Stefan. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay. Uh, choose a card. Um, owie. Ooh, sucker punch looks fun. Not just the low register, but the projection. That's what I'm saying. Stefan should go to the church. <laughs> Stefan is going to the church, I think. <laughs> Bitch got them white claws, though. Oh, wrong one. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Where is it? No. I'm going to fuck you with Satan's cock. <laughs> I can't believe we survived that. I'm not going to survive this. Look at my health. I have three health. This is insane. What do I have up here? Gain an artifact. What are they doing? Are they going to try to debuff me? Not yet. I'll wait. Fuck, you're going to attack me, though. Do I have any? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I only have one block. Are you kidding me? It's like a cruel joke. This is a tough hallway fight, too. Good. I'm so glad. Uh, so this will take your strength. So you can't hit me for that much. And then I want to shiv. Oh God, this is, this is a terrifying fight and I hate it. I'm so, look at, I have three life. Three. Okay, um, thank God we have that one. Gain 11 block, thank the lords. Uh, I'm going to strike you down. Oh, I've been playing this game for three days. I'm sorry, honey. I feel like I have a dog here on me. I take your strength. Uh, I apply poison to your bitch ass. I get more things next time. <gasps> oh, I'm nervous. Don't touch me. See, you couldn't do shit. It was blocked, motherfucker. Shit. Suffer? Oh, my God. Mm. What did I do? What's a hex? Oh, no. What's a hex do? At the start of your turn, add one shift. Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed. Oh, fuck you. You have 1,500 hours? Fuck. Okay, well, thank you for making me feel like I'm not an idiot for this being hard. I appreciate that. Uh... How did that happen? Can I kill him? No. Boo. I know, Nexio. I agree. Three days just is not enough. I've only died once so far. 
I think. Granted, I've only been playing for three days. Please forgive me. I'm checking on pups to make sure we're not getting up to PP. Um, I need to block him. Katie, you should die more. Should I? Am I supposed to? I didn't know. Is that part of it? Um, this sucks. He's going to kill me, maybe. This is so alarming. Fuck, I'm frightened. Oh my god, it's alarming. He must be pissed. Oh, look at all that block. Thank you. Thank you, Bobble. Add a random skill into your hand. It costs zero this turn. Exhaust. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. It doesn't matter, though. Nothing's going to cost anything. Yay! Choo choo! <laughs> Titan Pain Train! And I gotta sit! <laughs> I gotta sit next Titan to this thing! Titan Pain Train! And you wonder why. Ed Shem, what the fuck, dude? Thank you so much for gifting five subscriptions of my channel, you silly motherfucker. All five of you are now butt wizards of the highest order. I challenge you to go forth and hail Satan. What the fuck? Fucking OE Tiger, Happy Joy Stuff, Just Brad underscore V, Grounded Nuke, and Big Rosser. Use not Butt Wizards of the Highest Order, baby. I challenge you to go forth and use some fucking emotes in my channel. They're community made and I rather like them. Can I get a motherfucking hail Satan in the chat? Oh, Thank you so much, motherfucking Panda Koala, for summoning the class, giving the class the light, and giving an anus its wings. You are a butt wizard of the highest order. I challenge you to go forth and touch butts consensually because nothing in this world is sexier than clear, sober, consensual butt touches. Thank you for being amazing. That deserves a chairs. Word it does. Enchem, thank you. Chairs, everybody. Or just, you know, fist bump if you're not into it. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> oh my god. Elbows! What kind of game? What? A, a play? A 4X game? What does that mean? Explore, expand, exploit, exterminate, grand strategy? What do you mean? I don't know, maybe. Aw, oh, fuck. Um. Shiza, oh no, it's gonna happen. We don't have any, anything. Shit, fuck. Shit. They're going to die. He is going to happen. Did you take your joy today? I did take joy, thank you for asking. take your joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as those. Absolutely. I have done joys, thank you so much for asking. There is puppy licking my leg, which means I might have to take them out. Fuck. I am dead. I was defeat. <gasps> Look at my little tail coming off my back. Aww. Boo. 4X is like civilization. I fucking love civilization. I have a super, super hard addiction to Civ. Subscribe to the channel, keeping the classy alive, and giving an anus its wings. Oh my god, Superfly Rabbi! Thank you so much for summoning the class, keeping the classy alive, and giving a motherfucking anus motherfucking wings on that Twitch Prime sub. Can I get a motherfucking hail Satan in chat? No! I'm going to fuck you with Satan's cock! Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream, guys. Thank you so much for those subs. You guys are awesome. Oh my god, thank you. Music's loud. Brr. I had to turn my AC off. I got chilly. 
is coming, really. Mm. An ordained minister of Satan. Interesting. All right, what one? Right? Holy shit, people actually want me to go right this time. Cool, all right, let's do it. I know, I literally have goosebumps everywhere. It's just because it blows at me. My skin's really sensitive to wind. Brandy Buck, I have no idea. I have not played since they released all this new shit. Mm -mm. No clue. None whatsoever. Protect yourself. Waste his hits. Fuck you, ho. Wake and bake. Cheers, motherfuckers. <clears throat> yeah, let's watch him. Hold on. You don't want to watch him yet? Oh, you asked, did we watch the trailers? No, we haven't watched them yet. 